just to be honest, I absolutely have no idea what I'm doing. Welcome to my first grocery haul, everybody, and my kitchen. For those who don't know, I am Taylor. Hello, welcome to my channel. I am currently a nutrition education graduate student at Columbia University. I wanted to make one of my first nutrition related videos and do a grocery haul for you guys since I get these every week and I'm just gonna show you what I get and kind of talk through it a little bit. So here's a look at all of the stuff I got. It's only five bags, so nothing too crazy. I did do kind of a bigger haul because I had to pick up some things that I don't replace every single week. So that's kind of why it's a little bigger, but yeah, I'm gonna unpack everything and then just walk through it. I just wanna talk a little bit about what grocery shopping is for me. So with the pandemic, Amazon Fresh became really popular in the city and became honestly one of my favorite ways to get groceries. Not only is it really convenient to have the groceries delivered to your front door, so you don't have to go in and out of the stores, especially with the pandemic when things were really, really scary. It was really nice to not have to worry about going to a grocery store and exposing myself to other people, you know, even wearing masks. It was just nice to reduce my contact with other people. Also, Amazon Fresh just so happens to also be, in my opinion, one of the most affordable options, if not the most affordable option in the city for grocery shopping. Their prices are super reasonable compared to some of the grocery stores here in New York City. Everyone knows New York City is notorious for having really high prices for literally everything, including groceries. They are no exception. Amazon Fresh prices just seem to mirror outside of the city grocery prices. So not only is it convenient and safe in COVID, it's also very affordable. So with that little plug, um, I'm just gonna dive in. I'm just gonna start with the produce items. The majority of the grocery haul is produce. I just like to have it on hand whether it's for snacks or it's going in a recipe that I'm making that week, I always just have a bunch of produce. We got some bananas. These I use for my smoothies. I make a smoothie almost every day with some frozen berries. Toss a banana in there for some natural added sweetness, as well as it just makes it really creamy. So bananas are a must every week. I always get some bell peppers because I really love to cut these up and put some a little cream cheese on it with the everything but the bagel seasoning. TikTok had me, I tried it out and I made a TikTok about it, so I'll link it below. But yeah, I totally hopped on that trend and now I really like to have just a few of them on hand. So that way throughout the week, I can just cut one up and snack on it, but I can also eat these with hummus as well. We got some apples. I love to have some apples on hand because I like to eat these as like a sweet snack, like later in my evening, you know, when you kind of want maybe some chocolate or like some ice cream. Instead, I'll cut one of these up and I make this really delicious peanut butter yogurt dip that I'll share at some point. I'll show, I'll show the recipe for that. It's super easy, but it's just, just peanut butter, plain Greek yogurt, and that's it. And I like to drizzle a little honey on it and it's so good and it really fulfills that sweet tooth. Next, we got some zucchini um, with Amazon Fresh. It's, it's interesting because like you can't always just buy like a single zucchini. So it'll come in like a bag with like four of these a lot of the times and I always have too much zucchini. But for these, I'm gonna be using these in a turkey chili I'm gonna be making this week. But I also just like to have them on hand because I can just quickly cut them up, throw them in any sort of um, one pan dish I'm making, a stir fry or maybe in an omelet in the morning. So zucchini is a good staple. You always have to have an onion on hand. I put onion in almost everything. She's a must. Two other produce staples that I get every single week are broccoli as well as mushrooms. I use broccoli all the time. I will steam it. My favorite way to prepare it is to steam it. I'll put it on the side of um, a protein I'm having with like a grain. So maybe I'm making chicken marsala and I'll put some of this on the side with maybe some roasted potatoes to kind of balance out my plate. Um, I also like to just have it on hand for stir fries or omelets. Easy things, same with the mushrooms, easy to just toss in anything that I might be making. Um, so I really like to have these on hand as well. Okay, next up are my leafy greens. These are things I repurchase every single week. Kale, always, I like to throw them in salads that I make, and I'll show you guys the salad kits in a second, but I use kale a lot as a filler because a lot of the salad kits that I get don't come with dark leafy green vegetables in it. It's just a lot of lettuce usually. So I like to fill it with more nutrient dense greens such as kale, or spinach and then I also just like to throw these in any breakfast things that I'm making in the morning like scrambled eggs maybe a like a little veggie scramble I can throw this in a smoothie if I want I don't do it that often but 
it's an option. So I always have these on hand. Next, we're gonna go into these salad kits, kind of like what I was mentioning with the kale and the spinach. So I really like to get pre-made salad kits. So these salad kits come with the greens, um, the toppings, the dressings, everything. And I really like to get these one for convenience, two, they're inexpensive, and three, it just has everything you need in it. One of my biggest pet peeves is buying an ingredient like a certain salad dressing maybe or topping or something and then I only use it for uh, one thing and then it goes to waste and I don't use it again. I just don't want to have like four different salad dressings in my fridge. I live with three other girls so our fridge is stocked all the time with everyone's food so this just makes it easier for space reasons. Also, they're just really good and, you know, creative ways to try different salads. My least favorite part about these though is the waste. Everything's wrapped in plastic in here, including like the toppings and the dressing. So it's just added plastic in our landfills. Not my favorite part of this, but at the same time, I do appreciate the convenience of these. This one's a sunflower crunch. So this one's really good. I've had, I've had all of these basically. And then this one's an Asian inspired salad. You can see there's not any dark leafy greens. It's usually just lettuce. There's some carrots usually and, and cabbage, but not anything with true nutrient density, like a, like a kale or a spinach. So that's why I always get those. So I can toss these and mix them around with the toppings and the dressings and then have a lunch. This week specifically, I got tomato paste and diced tomatoes. I'm going to be making a turkey chili, as I mentioned. So I needed these for the chili. I don't get these every single week, just got them for this specific recipe. One thing I always have on hand is dark chocolate. Dark chocolate's my absolute favorite. And these are dark chocolate chunks. I really like just to have a few of these when I'm wanting something sweet. It usually just satisfies that craving right away. So I always have some on hand. Dark chocolate is a must for me. I'm like working up a sweat doing this. Okay, anyways, moving on. So I have a couple frozen items that I should totally just get out of the way now and put in the freezer because they've been sitting out this whole time. So I got some frozen mango. I love to just toss these in some smoothies. And then I also got some rice cauliflower. This is gonna go in my turkey chili that I'm making this week. But it's also just nice to have. I'm a huge advocate for frozen fruits and vegetables. Not only is it just nice because they don't go bad and you can have them in your freezer literally forever, but frozen fruits and vegetables are often even more healthy than the fresh fruits and vegetables because when they're frozen, they're frozen at like the peak of their nutrient density. I think there's like this misconception that frozen fruits and vegetables are less healthy than fresh, but that is just simply not true. So this stuff is great to have on hand too because I can make a stir fry out of this, toss it in really anything. I could use it as a side as well. Our frozen vegetables, this is just a, a peas and carrots mix. These are gonna go on my turkey chili, but I love, like I said, having bags of frozen vegetables on hand because this could be a side dish as well or go in something that I'm making in the skillet. It's super versatile, that's why I love these. And usually it's super cheap to get frozen fruits and vegetables like this. I also grabbed um, a can of pineapple. They don't really have a lot of fresh pineapple on Amazon Fresh. It also depends on when you're ordering the groceries because things go in and out of stock, unfortunately. That's another thing about Amazon Fresh that isn't the most convenient is sometimes you can like put stuff in your cart and then you don't place the order until the next day. And an item you put in your cart the day before isn't in stock for when you place the order and when it's going to be delivered. A lot of times I'll just opt for a canned pineapple or canned fruit instead. It's not my favorite to do it like this, but um, I love pineapple and I love the tartness it adds to my smoothies. So this will be going in my smoothies this week. Plain Greek yogurt is a staple in my apartment for me. It is so versatile. Not only do I add it to my smoothies and it makes it super thick and creamy. I absolutely love that but I use it as a replacement for sour cream. So that's a little life hack if you're interested in you know, making some easy substitutions in your eating habits. Um, plain Greek yogurt, if you put it on top of like a, a taco, for example, or anything you use sour cream for, you really will not notice that it's Greek yogurt instead. Not only is it identical to like the flavor when it's combined with something else, but it's much lower in fat and calories as well. So this is a great switch if you're looking to make a really easy food swap. We got some ground turkey. I love ground turkey. It's super versatile as well. I mean, everything I buy, I buy that's super versatile because I'm a grad student on a budget. So I like to buy stuff that I can use for multiple things and I'm not just gonna use once and then not use it again. So ground turkey is great. You can make a turkey bolognese from this. This is going in my chili. I've mentioned it a thousand times that I'm making chili this week. You could make 
a stir fry with it. You could do stuffed peppers with ground turkey. There are so many things to use it for. So I love having this on hand. Next we have some frozen chicken breast. I don't love getting frozen chicken breasts. It's just it's fine. Like I know I said the thing about fruits and vegetables, but something about frozen chicken just kind of creeps me out sometimes. Um, I prefer non-frozen, but this whole bag was like 650 and it's two pounds of chicken. So in terms of budget friendliness, this frozen chicken for me at least is the way to go. Chicken's a classic, so. We always got chicken here. Chicken isn't the only frozen meat that I usually have on hand. I usually have like frozen salmon or frozen tilapia or shrimp. I love seafood, so I didn't get it this week because I didn't need it, but I do have some in my freezer. I like to have that on hand as well. I love that it doesn't expire. So, you know, for a girl on a budget that wants to switch out her protein sources, the frozen meats are a good option. However, still a little weird. So I just got these chocolate chip cookie dough Lara bars, just really great quick grab and go kind of things. I'll eat one of these sometimes for breakfast or just as a snack or late at night when I'm craving something sweet. If I'm not eating the chocolate chips, I might do this instead. Another really cool thing about bars like this is you could always bake them at like 350. You could cut the bar up round out the the bar a little bit and make like little cookie dough balls and then bake them for a few minutes and then you have like a healthier cookie so that's something fun to do with these and then i just grabbed a box of kashi cereal i love kashi they're just a really good cereal brand i don't eat cereal that much but i like to have it as an option for breakfast or maybe even a little snack what I love about Kashi is their cereals are relatively high in whole grains and a little bit higher in fiber than most cereal. It's a nice healthier cereal alternative. Um, I've never had their peanut butter crunch one. I do have their original cereal in my pantry right now and I do enjoy that so I wanted to switch it up. But yeah, good for breakfast, maybe a little snack. You could also use it as a granola if you wanted to, so very versatile. Finally, I just grabbed two things of kombucha. I love kombucha. I have like three liquids in my life, water, coffee, and then kombucha. I'll usually have like half of the bottle at a time, even though usually the whole bottle is the serving. It's just a lot of carbonation for me, especially when I don't drink a lot of carbonation. So sometimes I'll just do half the bottle instead. And what I really like to do is put it in a wine glass to feel a little fancier. Um, it kind of just makes the experience of drinking kombucha more fun. It's super weird, but it's like a sensory thing, just grabbing the wine glass and sipping my kombucha. I saw it on YouTube, a couple YouTubers do it. They're geniuses. So that is it, everybody. So that whole grocery haul was about $70. You do have the option to add a tip into your Amazon Fresh order, which I always do. These people are not getting enough credit that they deserve. They're out here giving us groceries in the middle of a pandemic so we don't have to go expose ourselves in the store. So I'm super thankful and I always tip them. It kind of varies by week um, what my grocery haul costs. It's usually maybe 50 to $70, I would say. Like I said, I do live with three other girls. I only eat for myself. So I purchase and prepare and consume all the food for just myself. So as a young 24 year old single woman in New York City, I'd say $70 for the week is not bad at all. I also just love to cook. So I enjoy grocery shopping. I think it's really fun. I get excited to make new recipes every week and, and grocery shop for them. Thank you guys for tuning into like one of my first videos. I'm super excited to keep getting more content out on this channel, nutrition related and also lifestyle related. I look for more nutrition content to come. I'm gonna do some things like what I eat in a day, how I meal prep, how I grocery shop, how I plan for what my meals are gonna be in the week and things like that. Mm, yeah, so thanks. <laughs> thanks everybody and I'll see you in my next video.